Hello and welcome to our latest and greatest video with Mike and Tom. Season's greetings, as you can see we're still here rocking our Christmas wear. How are you? And how are you? I'm great, thanks. Some people rock their Christmas wear better than others. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, we can always challenge that. So yeah, I'm very good, thanks Mike. How's, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, You're good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Excited to be here again, sharing some... <laughs> Just. Oh, but, <laughs> uh, the bells are ringing. The bells are ringing. Um, the yeah, Joker or the well, Jester? <laughs> the, re the reason I've put this hat on, Mike, is it creates today's topic. Okay. Okay. Because this hat is made up of many strands. You could think of these as individuals. How many individuals do I have on there, Mike? One, one two. What have we got there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 individuals, but together they create a community yeah, yeah. and each of them has their own bell to ring. <laughs> so today's topic, everybody, is about the power of community the, the, and that a community can be as small as 13. I guess it could be even smaller than 13. The power there is in, in, in people getting together to share ideas mm. uh, on a common cause and, and also to inspire each other. And I'm a great fan of the community uh, as a... As a school teacher in a previous life, uh, the whole idea of community just ran through everything that, that I did. Um, how have we experienced the power of community on our workshops recently, Mike, would you say? Well, yeah, I mean, the Think to Thrive, and I'll be speaking more about that towards the end of this video, um, workshops is an opportunity for people to get together where we can share our personal experiences and things that have pulled us through certain situations in a group environment because things are um, changing quite significantly in the way we actually communicate with each other but I still strongly believe that we do have this primal need to be part of a group yes. and I think unfortunately with the introduction of social media you know whether it's you know things such as Twitter, Facebook, um, YouTube they give us a false sense of community mm -hmm. in the sense that we are part of something. But what I've noticed, especially since I've started doing a lot of more networking, mm -hmm. is that we still create that personal mm -hmm. community. We still like to sit round in amongst each other. Going mm -hmm. back through, you know, many, many centuries ago, I imagine, where we mm -hmm. were all part of a smaller community of people where we knew what John Smith was doing, mm -hmm. knew what Mr. Brown was going but we knew it on a very local and personal mm. level. Yes, we may have friends by these social media platforms, you know, halfway around the world, but they don't offer us the same, they don't offer the same level of intimacy. Absolutely. And yes, it's an opportunity for us to share, but I think there's nothing that can really replace sitting down with someone, mm. eyeballing someone and saying, mm. how are you doing? Absolutely, Mike, and uh, I can say from my heart to uh, viewers that uh, when I have faced problems or challenges, there is nothing out there, nothing out there that can replace going to see my good friend Mike or, or getting to, together with a community to, sh to share those, those ideas. There's something, you, when we were uh, going back thousands of years ago, when there was no television, no apps, no phones, uh, in the evening time, the community would get together the the fire, <laughs> yeah. and they would tell stories. Yes. And we are, human beings are encoded, with, our DNA is spiritually encoded with the gift of storytelling. Mm. But I don't mean storytelling such as uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, uh, although you could tell that story, um, but our own story. And, and you know, that's so powerful. Mm. We all have a story to tell. Mm. And if you can en encapsulate that and share that with other people, it's, it's just the best. Because then they'll tell you... Um, their stories and I think there's a great movement towards people actually opening up with more authenticity to talk about how they feel to talk about their story it's just wonderful mm. the, the other side of course about community is that we can inspire each other yes. we, we can hold each other it, it's something yeah you're right we've lost this to a degree yeah I think what you've touched on there is very important because we all have stories and I remember when I was talking about my own personal journey, as you probably know, from the time I wanted to open my own studio before the time when I found out that the 
girl I was seeing at the time was you know, playing away from home. She was seeing someone behind my back to the time that I was involved in, shall we say, illegal substances. All these things that maybe initially you were frightened to tell people, but once you open up mm -hmm. and people say, I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. I remember that time when my girlfriend was cheating on me. I remember that time when I was struggling in my business mm -hmm. adventure. I can remember that time when I was lonely. Sharing those stories helped people to resonate and say, you know what? You're like me, or mm -hmm. you're like me, and it allows them and encourages them to continue on their mm -hmm. particular journey. Absolutely. Um, so I think that's very important, and mm -hmm. I think that's something that when we get together with our Think to Thrive programs and Think to Thrive workshops and Think to Thrive seminars, it allows people to share their own journeys and inspire, mm -hmm. which is very important. What would you say, Mike, about somebody that may meet you that is quite shy mm -hmm. and they're, they're used to just being on their own with their problems how would you how how what's a good way of helping that person maybe embrace more of a community aspect to go and, and share with other people and talk with other people and um how how how's the best way do you think to do well, that well my number one question <coughs> with everything and with most things should i say is no what is it that you want because mm -hmm. i think once people understand what they want mm -hmm. you can then ask the question why they want it you mm -hmm. know so going back to what we've said before people come to me why do you i want to lose weight okay that's the what mm -hmm. why do you want to lose weight? what mm -hmm. is it oh well i want to feel better well mm -hmm. no, let's dig a little mm -hmm. deeper so for anyone who is shy or maybe a bit reserved in their approach i would say you know what what do you want mm -hmm. what is it that you want to experience mm -hmm. so i want to become more confident i want to be able to start this business venture. I said, oh, well, why do you want that? Okay, well, because I want to earn more money or I want to experience this in my life. I said, right, well, well let's start looking at doing the mm. things that's going to move you towards that and talking about other people that may be similar to them mm. that have done those things before mm. and see, well, they're not different than you. Mm. They eat, breathe and sleep just like you do. Mm. You can do the same. Absolutely. With the right support, with the right guidance, with the right direction and plan you can do the same. So regardless of where you are now, if you're a bit shy, she was a bit shy, or mm. he was a bit shy, but look at him now. Yeah, absolutely. And, and finally, Mike, um, do you remember that time we went to a seminar? It was an inspirational seminar in London and the doors got shut behind us. There was maybe 150 <laughs> people. That was in. That was a huge community of people. And the power was incredible. And we, we became lifted up, inspired, uh, built on our dreams but there was a moment viewers where Mike and I had to leave the hotel after a two-day workshop and step out into the real world and climb into a taxi do you remember that and it was like stepping it's out a bubble, wasn't it? wow uh, that's when I learned that forget about drugs forget about apps and and all these artificial stimulants that are around us the biggest stimulant that you can receive is to share your story and gain inspiration through community and with other people. people. It's yeah. just so powerful. And you know what? That chemical release of oxytocin from your brain will last far longer than a pint of beer or a, <laughs> a night out or, you know, and I think, yeah, we, it, I mean, what, Mike, I've got something for you down here. Right. By the way, nice. we, talk, we talked about, you know, having many people in the community. What we don't want to be, you see, is one person stood on the way. Would you like to try this hat on? I've got one strand, but that doesn't mean I've got <laughs> myself. Right, right. If you look closely, there are other strands. That looks awesome. What do you think, guys? That's great. In fact, you've got all the way around the outside. I've got this from Madeira, everybody, by the way. But uh, all the way around the outside here, you've got all these people holding hands. So if you look closely, it's not quite what it appears. There is community there. Uh, and all of those lead to a common firework that's taking off into the universe to spread its mission. <laughs> <Firework, yes. laughs> all right, guys. So takeaway for today, the power of community. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be early part of 2000, 2019, 2019, should I say, uh, letting you know about our next Think to Thrive workshop. Now, the Think to Thrive workshop is an opportunity, as we talked about, to get together and where we share how you can begin to think in a way that's going to help you thrive and move towards your goals and your desires. So keep tuning back here as we'll be sharing more information about how you can get involved and join us on our next workshop in early 2019. So, to conclude guys, community is very important, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always, leave us a comment, 
tell us what you do as part of your community. How do you get together? How do you share and inspire? If you're not doing it at the moment, what would you like to do to get involved in that? Leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so when we release our latest and greatest video, you're fully aware that it's been released and you will not miss out. So from my friend, Mr. Jester. Mr. Jester, <laughs> yes. A man of many bells. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, guys. Take care. To your success. To your success. <laughs>